Richard, sometimes you don't get what you deserve, do you? No, exactly. I thought the boys uh, really put a performance in there. <laughs> they were physical, uh, some great discipline there, and the boys put a massive effort in, and I'm lucky we did not get any rewards out of it. Conditions were dreadful. What was it like out in the middle? <laughs> it was uh, it was dreadful out there, but I thought uh, I thought uh, Josh played a, a cracker. He played the right tactics there, uh, put a lot of pressure back on him. It was a battle of, uh, of kicks out there. You had one shot that maybe gaining victory, but the wind blew that kick right across the the front of the sticks, and you couldn't just get your hands on the ball then in the last sort of five six minutes. No, as those 50 50 days, uh, all of a sudden the wind just hurricane blew uh, when Josh went to hit the kick. He was unlucky, uh, and then they were a typical monster. They just kept hold of the ball and very experienced that way, and uh, they killed the, killed the game off. But plenty of positives for you on the squad. Oh, huge! I think uh, the strides we made in the last six weeks in the derby is in Europe and know that game. I think the boys are definitely pushing on. Great, thanks for your time. Cheers, Jump in the show. No victory for the Dragons here at Rodney Parade. Next up at home in the final home match of the season, it's Ulster on Sunday the 3rd of March. Then we travel to Principality Stadium for Judgment Day where the Dragons will face the Scarlets. Sometimes, as Hib said, you don't get what you deserve. It finished the Dragon 7, Munster 8.